deadliest forces in the underwater universe is water pressure. Yet some people go out of their way to challenge it. My name's Megan Haney Greer. I'm a free diver by trade. My deepest dive was 170 feet. That's as far down as a 13-story building is tall. And Megan reaches those depths not with a machine or in a submersible, but simply while holding her breath. At sea level, the pressure on a human body is 14.8 pounds per square inch. And what that is, is it's one square inch from the surface of the Earth projected all the way up to when the atmosphere ceases to exist at about 60,000 feet. But when Megan leaves the surface, the underwater universe changes everything. Water is 800 times heavier than air. A mere 32 feet of seawater weighs as much as our entire atmosphere. 33 feet is two atmosphere. You add another 33 feet, it becomes three atmosphere, and on and on and on. Pressure is, is not an issue as long as you go by the rules. And your, most of your body is water. Water is not compressible. Your lungs is what you have to be careful about. Lungs and intestines, blood, ears and sinuses, even teeth, all parts of the body that may contain air. When you're going down atmosphere after atmosphere after atmosphere, eventually your lungs go from normal size to being the size of a fist because that gas is getting so compressed. Like squeezing the air out of a sponge. Eventually, her lungs shrink to such an extent that they are no longer buoyant. You're able to just start sinking like a stone to the bottom of the ocean. By the time you hit 110 feet, you're rocketing. She is in free fall. If she fails to halt her descent at the target depth, she won't stop until she hits the bottom. Her body is in equilibrium with the water pressure. And it's not just the size of her lungs that has changed. It's her blood chemistry, too. Your lungs are exposed to a higher pressure. It's going to push more gas into your bloodstream. As Megan swims for the surface, the pressure eases. Like the bubbles in this soda, the gas in her bloodstream needs a place to go, so it refills her lungs. But the decreasing pressure is also robbing her blood of oxygen. She is at risk for what freedivers call shallow water blackout. There's always the chance, you know, that you'll black out just because everything from if you're dehydrated to how you sleep last night to what you've eaten, everything is having an effect on your free dive. She is all too aware that the deadly pressure of the underwater universe can kill even the best prepared. Something that I don't think a free diver can ever forget is that you are so small in the ocean and you can be taken just like that. Mm -hmm.